Okay, folks, listen, don't skip through this part. I see you guys be skipping past this, and then you ask me later. Listen, what we're getting ready to make is a honey cornbread, right? It's a buttermilk honey cornbread. Listen, so I'm gonna get right into it. Now, first thing you wanna do is, so I suggest doing this because this goes together so quick. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, so look, you guys can see I got some ingredients right here. Don't forget the full printable recipe is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, what I'm doing is right now, I'm just making, you know, room, right? You don't need a whole lot. You got a bowl, and then you want to get yourself, you can use yourself like one of the little square, you know, Pyrexes, you know what I mean? Or you can use a dish like this. It's shaped like the regular 13 by nine, but this one is a little bit smaller. You guys can do whatever you want. If you guys are using a 13 by nine and you're doing it, you might want to double this recipe, right? But this is going to be super moist and all of that. Now, first thing I'm getting ready to do is, I'm just going to add my sugar. I'm getting ready to melt my butter. And let me get the right tool. I want to go ahead and put this honey in the inside also. Now, let me go ahead and melt my butter. All right, so after I melted that, as you guys can see, I'll just add this to it. Now, remember folks, you guys gotta have the right tool. You know what I mean? Uh, I can see myself back in the day doing this and trying to do this with a fork. You know, just trying to rush through it. You know what I mean? But this is what you wanna do. Get yourself a spatula, right? Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side. Speaking of the right tool, now we get ourselves a whisk. Now we got honey, sugar, and then we got melted butter, right? So now we just get this to incorporate together, marry together, and you'll see something wonderful right there. There's a whole lot of goodness right here. Okay, once you got this mixed together, we're gonna go with our eggs. Obviously, I'm using hen eggs. You know, I like them, you know what I mean? So we'll just put one egg in. We do it one at a time, right? And then for the second egg, we add that also, but I just want to show you guys one thing. Look at how it, it looks. It's nice and smooth, right? Just doing it one at a time, it incorporates nice. And this is what you want to have. Now I know this wouldn't be the right tool for me to be scraping the edges, but don't worry. I got my spatula and I'll be using that also. And this is what your end product should look like. Now, just speaking about the obvious, right? So when you print the recipe, if you're doing it, and then you follow the video, it just makes it a little bit better. And what I'm doing right now is just adding in my buttermilk, right? Just add it in slowly, but still incorporating. The objective is for this to be nice and moist, right? So just do it the way, this is the way I was taught to do it. So you guys just follow this. If you got a better way, try it my way first and see how you like that. Mm. Now this right here gonna be fire. All right, look, I done got away from talking about why I line everything out like this. It just makes it easy, right? So when you look at the recipe, you set everything and you read the instructions, you set it up to the way you're gonna need it, how you're gonna use it, right? So only thing I have left right now, cause this right here is for the end, that's for my drizzle effect, right? And this over here is my dry ingredients. Only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over here like that cause I'm gonna add my flour last. Now here, it doesn't make a difference how you put these in here. We can go ahead and just add those. Add a little bit of this cornmeal in here, you know what I mean? And we just incorporate this. Once we got this fully incorporated, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. This next part is gonna be key because we don't wanna overwork our flour, right? I got that in there. You remember all them bowls I had right here? If you guys pay attention over this way, I keep hot soapy water together, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash these while I have, this is everything that I use inside of here. And I, once I put it in the oven, you know what I mean? Then I just go ahead and knock it out. So when that comes out, then I'm really done, right? Along with the rest of the food that we making. And then I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, how many of y'all use cor have cornbread and with what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I have cornbread probably mm, at least, at least four times a week. Now, here we go. We got everything incorporated, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna dump this in here like this. Don't worry about it, just dump it in there. Now listen, when I incorporate this and I don't see no more white and no lumps, I'm done. You don't wanna overwork this batter, right? Look at this. I'm gonna take my bigger spatula Right, and I'm gonna rub it across, you know, scrape it across these edges right here. I don't wanna see no white. This is why we like to use glass bowls, because we can look here on the side and we can tell, did we get everything 
does it have like pockets of flour or you know stuff like that right so once i got it all scraped i'm good there i'm gonna come with my whisk just for the last time right and then we done all right so look i try, i decided to go ahead and change my glass bowl right this right here is like a nine by nine so what i'm gonna do is take a piece of butter a stick of butter and i'm just getting ready to you know run this along the edges and the bottom right you guys can spray a non-stick spray in here that works you know what i mean but just doing it old school reminiscing you know just the way my granny used to do it that's what it should look like once you go ahead and coat it with the butter right again i'm gonna just say this this is the original non-stick i guess it's not a spray but i'll just say that just for the sake of argument right so we just don't want nothing to stick right now we come back to our spatula now listen your batter gonna be a little bit on the thick side right don't worry this is what you want you know what i mean so we just want to go ahead and get this inside of here right once we have it in here we're gonna act like it's a cake you know you know, work this spatula just a little bit. And once you got it pretty much level, we just gonna let it sit up just for a little bit. I'm gonna actually put it on top of my board and tap it down just a couple of times. You know what I mean? Just let gravity take its, you know, place. I got it, it's gonna be a little bit on the thick side, but please don't add no, nothing else to it. If you're using glass, I don't suggest you do this on your countertops, you know what I mean? So listen, that's why I said I'm gonna put it on top of my cutting board. Just, right? We already uh, preheated, we at 350 degrees. Now listen, we are gonna go in there for about 45 or 50 minutes. I'm gonna check it probably right at about, uh, let's see, I'll probably check it at about, I think it's gonna go 40, you know what I mean? That's usually where I check it at. You know what I mean? Decide if it needs to go a little bit further. You know what I mean? And how do we do that? We check it with a toothpick. But look, just for the sake of argument, and I don't want to like over talk nothing, let's put this in and I'll see you in 40. Okay, folks, look, 40 minutes, right? So let me go ahead, open this up. You guys can see what it looks like. Brown, nice on the top, right? So I'm just gonna go right here in the middle with my toothpick. Go all the way down, bring this up like this. And we look at it. I see one little thing on there. I tell you what, that's enough for me to say, hey, that's good. You know what I mean? We still want it to be nice and moist, right? So I'm just going to close this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push stop. Let's cancel it, right? We're going to let the residual, you know, continue to bake it, but we don't want it to get too much darker, right? So if you guys look right here, remember we have butter and honey left over, right? Let me melt this, put this on top, and then uh, we're going to, you know, do a little drizzle. Let me go ahead and add my honey, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and get my small whisk. Right, because we're just going to mix this together, you know, and then we're going to use this to drizzle right over the top. All right, now we mix. Nothing like honey and butter, folks. You guys probably already had it before, you know what I mean? You remember when your grandma used to make those, make them muffins, give you some of that honey butter? This is it right here, but when it's nice and hot and melted, look at that right there. Mm. All right, listen, it's still warm. We got this blended, as you guys can see. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know, put this on the top right here, like this, just to give it that little glaze, right? And then if you want to, you can go ahead and take some of that, uh, you could take some honey and, you know, put that on it. I guess run a little drizzle on there individually, right? So I'll just take my knife that I have right here. And this, with a little bit of heat that's left, it'll help it, you know, spread. But I'm starting to let this cool a little bit. So this is it right here. It's gonna run off down on the sides, and this is what you want. All right, so look, I'm able to even actually touch this now. It's still just nice and warm, right? So if you do your timing right, your food then came out. Now this is out, and this will be nice and hot, right? So look, I'm just taking my fork, I mean my knife, and just holding it here, and bring it over here, just to see how big my slice is gonna be, right? So I'll start on this side. I'm just using this little edge right here, and I'm gonna try to make an imaginary line right and just take it oh man this is nice and moist folks you know what i mean so we take it there i'm gonna turn this around this way and do it you guys cut it like i say any kind of way you want to but i like to get a couple of nice little squares out of here you know but you cut it for as amount, amount of people that you have now take a look at that right there i'm gonna go ahead and slide this over there to y'all because look that that right there a beauty and you want to talk about moist i want to push it down like this just so you guys can see 
look how spongy it is. You know what I mean? I, can, I don't want to stick my finger through it. You know what I mean? But, oh, my goodness. Then it's got that little honey on there, too. So let me go ahead and do something a little different this time. I'm going to get my napkin, and we finna taste one of these. You know? So I'll just take one of these small ones. Right? These are them corners. You know what I mean? Uh, just imagine this. Let me set it up for you. Listen, we got some pinto beans. You know what I mean? We got that uh, smoked turkey leg in the inside of there. It's been cooking for about five or six hours, right? You know what I mean? Or we got them greens, you know, for those of y'all to be doing them greens. You know what I mean? Uh, if you got the greens, you know we got to dip, let it absorb, like a, just like a napkin. Let that pot liquor come up this way. But let me level it up a little bit more. Gumbo greens. Hey, cheers, y'all. Somebody call Jiffy and tell him he dead. Hey, it, it's, nothing, it's nothing to talk about. Look, I scarfed that piece down. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys see it. Listen, don't forget, go by the website. You know, check it out. Check out the recipe. Print it. You know what I mean? Make it the way I made it. And then, listen, don't forget. You can look around. You'll find something else that you like. I'm sure of it. Now, with that being said, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you see this one right here that's been soaking with that uh, butter on there? I'm about to eat this, folks, and I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.